Here we go. Some of you probably recognize that as Lowell Folson's Reconsider Baby. And this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. Lowell Folson isn't exactly a Chicago Blues player per se, but his influence on Chicago was huge. I, he's one of the absolute most influential lead guitarists there ever was. He was in on the ground floor of kind of electric blues and electric R&B. And... Uh, I just love Lowell Folson. I really think when CZ Hill was singing, take off them fast records and bring me some of them down home blues, I think he was talking about Lowell Folson. Lowell Folson and Jimmy Reed. But anyway, um, Magic Sam gets so much stuff from him. And Willie James Lyons, as that's in a previous lesson, we talked about Willie James Lyons. There's an Eddie Taylor song called Don't come knocking at my door or don't knock at my door that has got to be at least 75 percent guitar shuffle by Lowell Folson. I've decided to sort of alter my focus a little bit on these lessons and instead of these long lessons that talk about everything somebody ever did and all my favorite songs by this or that artist uh, I just want to focus in a little more. So let's look at Reconsider Baby. You know, like Willie Johnson, there's no vibrato. Almost, he doesn't go. That came later with Luther Allison, right? He just, and sorry for my, my tone here. I, I, it's kind of late at night, so I got to like uh, be a little quiet. I can't be rocking out, so. But lots of tugs, okay? See what I'm pushing the... Don't be afraid to just tug the heck out of it. Or like that. So he really snaps a note. What he does to bring his music to life is is uh, the dynamics. And he, he pretty much, it seems to me, he's just down, 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 down. All downstrokes with that thumb pick, which gives it this kind of countryness to it or this, this jaggedness to it, and a kind of an uneven attack. And that sort of lends itself to the dynamics of his playing. And it, it's, a, it's sort of a signifier that says, I'm a country boy. I didn't learn how to, you know, he's not a picker like like uh, like Reggie Boyd, you know. <laughs> he could never play in a million years like the solo from Rock This House by Jimmy Rogers, you know, that real clean stuff where he goes, you know. You know, he could never do the, he, he, he ain't fancy, but you know, that he's expressive, real expressive. And it just hit a chord. And this is before you even talk about his singing. And he does imitate his singing a lot, you know, stuff like that. And then, so the notes, the kind of notes that he plays, And sometimes he will answer this with like that. 
so long. Now, if Magic Sam was doing it, he'd just play the Magic Sam chords to approximate the horn parts, which is kind of the West Side thing. You could see even there, I had the volume kind of went jabbed out at you, then it came back. And you could do up and down picking with a pick, but it doesn't have the same effect. See how weak that sounded? It just didn't sound, it didn't have the heaviness to it. But you could use a pick and just try to make it all downstrokes and make it kind of urgent. And then the tugs. The notes that he's working with are like... He does a lot of rakes down. The rolls, maybe. So it perfectly described this. That's just a all downs. You don't really have to pick each note. You just kind of move right through it like you're like you're chopping an onion. You just push the knife through it, right? Yeah. Now you'll always think about chopping an onion while you're doing that. So, <laughs> anyway. And then on the four, he'll do this. He kind of jabs at you with the volume, you know. This fits this chord. This note signifies like the four, or he does it on the one. He, it's, he just gets a lot of expressions out of right here. And he'll even do the bend. You could just slide your knife there or just doom, 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 doom. This note when going to the four it has a real heavy blue sound to it. And of course this note sounds great over the four. And then he chops it off. He uses silence for all. Do 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 do. Da 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 do 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 You know, so it's got this jaggedness to it that tells a story and it takes you through the chords. And uh, if you want to learn another one, Too Many Drivers is a really great one. And it does the same thing. It starts with a kind of a lump on the piano. Right away, it's like, here we are, dude. And then, I'm in love with you, babe. Let me ride in your automobile. But anyway, um, I want to get to the solo in, in um, Reconsider, Baby. It's almost as famous a solo as the solo in All Your Love. This is a 5th fret and 6th fret, B and E string, and yes, we're in the key of G, right? Fifth fret. It's a lot like Tebow, and it just has a different attitude. It has more of a country, he's more of a country boy, whereas, you know, Tebow and Walker was a lot more elegant. 
and just try it with all downstrokes. If you use a finger, thumbs, if you use your thumb like this, or a thumb pick, which, you know, from what I've seen, it looks like Lowell Folsom did use a thumb pick. And, or if you want to use a pick, just try all downstrokes, or as much downstrokes as you could do to get that urgency to it. So now, what I'm gonna do is, um, I've got a looper. <laughs> And I'm just going to play in this style real slow so you can see it as it goes. Here's the beginning. And then start in the seventh. Cut it off. Try a band, fifth fret, B string. So that's pretty much the building blocks of so much of what Lowell Folson did. And I know that Magic Sam must have wore that record out and, and learned every little detail of it. And then he just played it with his fingers and it sounded really different. Put some reverb on there and you got a whole different story, right? Willie James Lyons, Sammy Lawhorn, the Junior Wells version which is on the record on tap with Sammy Lawhorn plays an amazing solo where he kind of Sammy eyes Lowell Folson in a fascinating way we're going to come around to that that's a guitar treasure trove for sure I hope you'll dig on some Lowell Folson and do subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks a lot